What you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're taking a look at five reasons why you should upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7 right now. Now, these are just concentrating on the main reasons why people should upgrade straight away. And it's free to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 while it lasts. I don't know how long that process is going to last, but Windows 7 support will end on January 14th, 2020. And this means the Windows 7 support lifecycle is over. That means you won't receive any patches, any security updates or any major updates for Windows 7 unless you pay them a high premium as a business for their extended upgrade package or update package which Microsoft are offering. And it's not worth it, it's so much money. Now why would you need to upgrade? Why can't you just continue to use Windows 7? Well, if you wanna to continue to use Windows 7, you're gonna leave yourself vulnerable to hacks, malware viruses, uh, and other potential uh, future security flaws which aren't getting patched. Now moving on to number two is ransomware protection. Windows 10 is very good at protecting you against ransomware, whereas Windows 7 wasn't, as you've seen in my previous videos many years ago. You've got built-in ransomware protection here, and there's quite a lot of it installed into Windows 10, which gives you a lot more better protection against ransomware. This is essential for businesses, and it's also essential for home users. Now, you don't have to just stop there. You can add further uh, protection for your system against ransomware as well, which I've shown in other videos as well. You can see you've got real-time protection here, cloud delivery protection, automated sample submissions, tamper protection, bunches of uh, security features built into Windows 10, which makes it virtually impenetrable for a lot of the old malware, which was available for Windows 7 and Windows XP. You can also use a Cronist um, free anti ransomware program which will protect you against ransomware as well alongside what's built into Windows 10. They don't conflict and it's perfectly fine to use them. You can also use a free firewall which does have some form of ransomware protection built into it as well which is what I use and you should feel a lot safer when surfing the web and stop worrying about getting uh, attacks from ransomware which can encrypt all your data and cripple your uh, system and also cripple your business. So when you get people telling you, oh, I'll be fine on the internet, I know what I'm doing, they don't know what they're doing. It's Windows 7 and it is very vulnerable once they stop uh, giving you those security patches and updates. You don't want to be using an operating system that has no more support uh, for it, okay? So don't be doing it. Another thing is number three, which is stronger malware security tools, which are built into Windows 10. As you can see here, Windows 10 comes packed with a lot more better uh, security tools like Windows Defender, Exploit Guard. This is an essential bit of kit for protecting you uh, on the internet and also protecting your data. You can control a lot more here. You can set up OneDrive for recovery options for ransomware and have controlled folder access. If you go down to apps and browser control here, you've got a lot more uh, better control with malware. Smart screen from Microsoft Store apps. You've also got smart screen for Edge and other versions like Chrome. You've got also your system settings and program settings here for your exploit protection. You can add in a program to customize. You can do a lot of protection inside Windows 10, which you couldn't do in Windows XP and Windows 7. Hence why you don't see so many uh, malware related uh, videos from me. Now with all these added uh, security features, Windows 10 is very hard to infect compared to the days of Windows 7 and XP when it was very easy to infect. You've got safer web browsing inside Windows 10, which means safer online banking and other things like that. Another feature which is very good, which is more efficient updates from Windows 10. I know they've been played with updates and bugs and stuff like that, but it's teething problems and it will get better over time. Now, by going by what Microsoft is saying, you're not going to see another Windows operating system. It is just going to be Windows 10, and they're going to continue to expand and grow on that um, operating system. So it will only get better over time. Now, Microsoft are using the unified update platform, which is UUP, which significantly streamlines the update process. Now, UUP identifies new changes to Windows 10, 
that your computer needs and downloads only those specific uh, updates. So no more of those really large updates that you get like service packs and stuff like that from Microsoft. And it also speeds up the download process and update process of Windows 10. Now I know Windows 10 has been plagued with problems and it's been so frustrating and I've been frustrated as well. Uh, but I'm just talking about going from Windows 7 uh, to Windows 10 as a proper viable option and that's what people should be doing if they want to stay on the Microsoft or Windows platform. So basically that is your only option if you want to stay on that platform. There is another option which you could go down the road and go on to Linux and Linux has plenty of distros available which you could choose uh, to install. This is Manjaro, it's a lovely operating system and you can install Mint, there's Ubuntu, there's a bunch of different other distros out there. You can choose one that suits you and go ahead and install it and use that as your main operating system. It's secure, it gets regular updates and it's pretty easy to use. Now if you want to get your feet wet with Linux you can go and get yourself a cheap laptop or an old Dell uh, Vostro or something like that on eBay and install Linux on that and use it until you get familiarized with it or you can install it onto a virtual box and use it on there so you can understand how it works and then make the full transition across from uh, Windows if that's what you want to do. There is other versions out there as well which you can use and there's also um, Mac and there's also Chromebook as well. Now there is plenty of options available out there for you. I'll also make another video giving you my reasons why you shouldn't or might not want to upgrade to Windows 10 in another video because that's an entirely different video altogether. But other than that, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. These are the reasons why I think you should upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and uh, they are pretty good reasons to do it, uh, especially when you know that Windows 7 is coming to an end and it is so vulnerable to uh, attacks and also malware and ransomware out there in the wilderness. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.